Welcome back to Murdoch Fitness. This is the fifth and final episode of the Smolov Junior series. As I'm recording this, I'm actually already starting another program, um, the Sheko Advanced Medium Load Cycle. Um, I'm going to talk a little more about that near the end of the video. But the weights for my most recent training cycle, the one I just started a couple of days ago, are calculated from my most recent one rep max tests, and that includes my bench max test, which I did four days after completing Smolov Jr. So on my test day, I ended up hitting 385 pounds for a max single, and I just barely missed 390 pounds at lockout. So while I'm not disappointed in 385 itself, it's only a five pound PR. <laughs> um, and of course, a PR is a PR. And I'm happy with setting a new personal record. And I'm pretty happy to say I can bench press 385 right now. But a mere five pound PR was definitely not what I was expecting as the output of surviving probably the most challenging bench press program I've ever done. So to kind of just get to the point, I had mixed feelings after my test day. So on the one hand, I was just glad that the program was over. Smola is really difficult, both physically and psychologically, um, and kind of mentally, you know, benching can be kind of one of the more boring lifts. I mean, squatting gets your adrenaline up, and deadlifts, you're lifting a bunch of weight, but, you know, not as much excitement with bench. And even if you are super hyped on bench, four times a week benching is really, really pushing it as far as the frequency goes for that movement. So it can get pretty mundane and that can wear on your motivation to train. All those psychological factors aside, the program itself is just brutally hard. Um, I break down the volume and intensity of Smolov Jr. in my fourth video, but the main point is I've hit PRs in the middle of training before, but the training cycles I did hit those in were definitely nothing close to the level of overreaching that Smolov Jr. creates. So hindsight being 2020, I think I was kind of impatient with setting my test day. Um, again, I only rested four days between my last Smolov workout and my test day. I think I should have waited at least a week. Um, I feel like if I had shed some more fatigue, I might have been able to lock out 390 pounds and maybe even give 395 a fight. On the other hand, I feel like I actually went through Smolov Jr. pretty well. I didn't miss any lifts. Um, my last workout, which was 10 sets of 3 at 315, felt really good. My technique feels amazing right now. It's a really big confidence booster to have my technique dialed in, um, especially when you're trying to bench the most weight you can. Um, and I think the training cycle itself was actually a huge success, despite the fact that my test day didn't really reflect that. So my theory is that I was too impatient and I tried to test too soon and I haven't let all those Smolov Jr. adaptations kind of set in and establish themselves. So with that kind of being said, I believe I'll continue to make adaptations off of Smolov Jr. as I transition into the advanced medium load program which is featured on the Sheko app. And I'm hoping I'll hit some bigger PRs as I continue to adapt from Smolov Jr. transitioning into Sheko and continuing to kind of become a more well-rounded powerlifter again now that my leg is better. So on this note, I'm going to kind of briefly talk about Sheko for the rest of this video. Um, and that's because it's important not to dwell too hard on your previous training cycles. I'm going to take what I learned from Smolov Jr., I'm going to apply it to my approach to Sheko, and I'm confident that I'll be able to continue to make progress through the rest of this year of lifting. The Sheko app is authorized by legendary Russian powerlifting coach Boris Sheko. The app interprets your squat, bench, and deadlift numbers, powerlifting total, and weight class to formulate a recommended plan based on three categories of lifters. So depending on how heavy you're lifting, he provides beginner, intermediate, and advanced program templates. And within those designations, there are a couple of different programs depending on kind of where you are in your training year. So my lift numbers in total qualified me for the advanced programming. And based on the fact that I don't have any competitions that I'm interested in doing at the moment, I was 
advised to do the medium load cycle. The advanced medium load cycle is meant to build technical efficiency by using a high frequency approach. So I'm benching four times a week, I'm squatting twice a week, and I'm deadlifting twice a week, I think. So using this high frequency approach with the percentages kind of averaging around 70%, I'm able to train each lift more frequently and continue to build strength and technical efficiency without inducing too much fatigue. So I'll talk more about Sheko in my next video. I'm gonna to try to keep this one short and sweet to kind of tie off the Smolov Junior series. If you're sick of watching me bench, stay tuned. I'll have a lot more new stuff coming soon. Thanks, guys.